After that is on litter patrol. One, two, three. Oh no, not you, Curtis. All right, Curtis. What's it all about? Why can't you pick on someone your own size, huh? Winterbourne started it, boy. Oh, did he? Well, that was very foolish of him, wasn't it? All right, what's it all about, Winterbourne? Well, come on, out with it. What's it all about? Nothing. All right. Uh, look, you uh, cut along for now. I'll see you later. No, not you, Curtis. Now look, Curtis, the suspense is killing me. If you don't tell me what this is about, I'm going to have to thump you myself. You know what a gentle soul I am. Do I have to, boy? Yes. Well, it was about his mother. And? Well, I said she was a whore and he heard about it. <sighs> know what a whore is to you, Curtis? Not exactly, boy. A whore is a prostitute. Winterbourne's mother is a, a famous actress and a special favourite of mine. She is not a whore. And her private life has nothing to do with us anyway. I know, I know. I don't know why I said it. Oh, I do. Because you're a fool. And you thought it sounded good at the time, right? More or less. I never meant to hear it, though. I don't suppose you did. You're as big a fool as I was at your age. I would have apologised, but he just went mad. Well, how would you feel if your mother was splashed all over the newspapers and half the sixth form had postcards over her in a bathing suit, then some great oaf goes off calling her a whore? I'd kill him. Right. Come and sit down. I'm going to take a gamble on you, Curtis. I'm going to make you my head of dormitory. And what I want you to do is to make sure that there's no ragging of Winterbourne and no smart chat about his ma after lights out. Now, do you think you can do that without making it obvious to Winterbourne? Yes. Yes, I think so. Thanks a lot, boy. Good. Because the poor little beggar's going to need all the help he can get over the next couple of weeks. I don't like fights in my house. They're supposed to clear the air, but more often than not, they work the other way round. Well, I'm sure it's worked out all right this time, sir. Uh, Curtis isn't a bad sort of chap. What about Winterbourne? What sort of chap is he? Nobody really knows. Goes about by himself most of the time. His own choice, I think. He's just one of these solitary birds. You read about this, I suppose? Winterbourne divorce case? Actress to contest suit? Well, I gathered it was on the way. Chaps in the house have been pretty decent about it. No ragging or gossip that I've heard of. And, uh, I've had my spies out. Boy, you haven't got an espionage network already. Yes, well, I hope you're right. I'll just have to try and keep the newspapers out of the school. Well, I hope that Winterbourne's tougher than he looks. Sir? I can see you got a keen eye for a bargain, Mr. Pellet Jones. Lovely little motor is this, yeah. <sighs> Do you have any other sort? Ah, no. Now you know I wouldn't have the on. This here motor is a proper old steel. There's no more than three thousand on the clock. Why'd only try her out? No, I'm. Uh, I'm not seriously interested. Uh, I'm not looking for a car, much less a three-wheeler. Uh, no, I. I got to get a birthday present for the wife this morning. Well, then, you're her bee. Surprise the lady. Get on. You and the missus need transport out along, don't you? You've stuck fast half the year round up at Banfield. Well, then, here's your own means of popping in and along any time you likes. Shopping, picture house, whatever takes your fancy. 
How much are you asking for it, Mr. Lyon? Sixty pound to you, sir. And that's a proper steal. I'd ask sixty-five to anybody who wasn't up at school. Go on, try her out. There's petrol in the tank. No obligation. Take her for a spin. No, I... Um... No. Well, you see, Beth, I... I was looking at these watches, see, and I... And I thought, well, this would be far more use to you than a watch. I could teach you to drive in a, in a day or two, and... Uh, why, why, then you'd be a, a free woman. Uh, you could pack in the twins, and you could drive to Chalacum and, and do your shopping in style. And, uh, trips to the pictures, uh, trips to the seaside, whatever you fancy. I, I should change down here if I were you. Where's down? Watch the road. I can't do everything. Well, how do you think I did? Oh, magnificently. You took to it like a duck to water. Oh, my legs feel quite weak. Oh, well, that's funny. So do mine. You weren't nervous, were you? No, of course not. Compared to the Somme, it was only slightly more frightening. Oh. <sighs> oh, God. What's the matter? The Winterbourne case. Bad. Couldn't be worse. Nude bathing parties. Farmyard morals, says judge. Judgment awarded to the husband with 2,000 guineas costs. Oh, dear. That poor boy. Don't you think we ought to talk to him? I don't know. I'm inclined to say not. Well, any mention of it, however kind, will be sure to upset him. And I made damn sure that none of the newspapers have been available in the school. Well, with any luck, he won't see them himself. Now, what the hell business is it of anyone else's? Oh, get him in, you fool! Here. Oh, bring you safe, I jump! You in his army. Up here! Oh, sorry, Spence. Now, give him back his trousers and stop asking about. Be nice to catch you, Spence. No. Oh. Come in. Mmm. Mm. What is it? Mm. Go on. Go on. It's your turn. Mm. Mm. All right. Shh. It's all right. It's all right. Then. Come in, I'm coming. Come what time is it? 6.30, sir. Sorry to wake you up, but I thought you should know straight away. It's Winterbourne, sir. He's gone. Now, what's all this? Gone where? Well, I don't know, sir. His bed hasn't been slept in, though it was a bit rumpled. I think he must have gone down the fire escape during the night. Have you told anyone else? Well, no, sir. Everyone's asleep. I was up early doing an hour's cramp. Size, huh? Winterbourne started it, boy. Oh, did he? Well, that was very foolish of him, wasn't it? All right, what's it all about, Winterbourne? Well, come on, out with it. What's it all about? Nothing. All right. Uh, look, you uh, cut along for now. I'll see you later. No, not you, Curtis. Now, look, Curtis, the suspense is killing me. 